Hey guys, welcome to the Money Line presented by Wager Talk. I am Kelly Stewart. These guys next to me need no introduction, but I'm going to do it anyway. Teddy Covers, Johnny the Greek, two of my favorites from wagertalk.com. Make sure you guys are giving them both a follow on Twitter at Teddy underscore covers and at Greek Gambler on Twitter. All right, guys. I'm so excited for football season. It's still June, but football is it's, it's beyond time. Okay, we're going to talk about Week 1 NFL. Teddy, I know you have a Week 1 NFL play. I'm going to start with you. Sure, and June, you start jonesing. You know, it's like May, you know, you're ready. June, you're like, all right, you know, NBA, the NBA Finals are over. Give me some freaking football. It's coming, we promise. And, of course, when it comes to Week 1 of the NFL, we've done our homework a little bit. I got a false favorite. I want to fade right away. Okay. And it stands out. You look. You look at the week one sheet here uh, at the Westgate Superbook. Can you uh, just in case Superbook people USA. at home don't know what a false favorite means? Elaborate just a little bit. A false favorite is a team that should not be favored. And not only is this team favored, they're favored on the road. That's the Detroit Lions. They're laying. Yeah, exactly. The Lions are laying points in Arizona week one. And I understand Arizona was the pits last year. And I understand it's going to be a rookie quarterback and a first time head coach and all of that. But guess what? That means the Lions don't have anything on film for what Arizona is going to do. Very true. I think Arizona plus one and a half. Grab them on the money line if you like. I think they would be. All right, Mr. Greek. I'm going to go to the Thursday night season opener, and it's Green Bay and Chicago. What you got to remember, this far out, I'm not really handicapping the matchup all that much. We don't even have preseason yet. You don't know about injuries leading up to that game. So what you're trying to accomplish is get a ticket in your pocket where the number's better than it's going to be come game day. So if I could get a ticket in my pocket right now at plus three, think believing that when week one comes, this game's going to be a pick em, I got a good bet. And now, if need be, you can play the other exactly, side. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. And I have a nice middle set up, or at least I have the best of it. At the very worst, I have the best of it at 11 to 10, which isn't very easy to do. So I'm going to go to Thursday Night Football, and you have the Chicago Bears coming off a monumental season at 12-4, and 12-4 and four against the spread as well, against the Green Bay Packers as four-point favorites. I don't think that line's going to hold. Um, I like Green Bay plus four. A lot of three-and-a-halves out there. I still think you should take that. Uh, listen, the bottom line is Green Bay's not as bad as that 6-9-1 and one record was Absolutely last not. year. And more importantly, I think with Matt LaFleur coming there, I think – Rodgers has something to prove coming right out of the gate. And like, I you like, made this happen. You got a guy in there that supposedly has the offense set because what do they do? All defense during the offseason. So you're ready to go. He did it for Atlanta. He did it for everyone else. They look like I think he's going to come out feeling he's got something to prove. I'm not sure the Bears are the best team in the NFC North just yet either. I know it seems like a lot of – uh, the general public is back in this team. So I, I think I'm with you, VR, taking that a plus four. All right, Teddy, let's switch gears. Week one of college football is just, oh, uh, basically eight and a half weeks away. And, I mean, Johnny made a great point about trying to get the best of the number. And when you're making a wager now for late August or September, that's the key point. That wasn't my point of emphasis for here. I'm talking about sides that I like. And that's why I took the line. I honestly don't know right, which way right. that line is. And I don't know which way this line is. Right, right. You are handicapping the match. Exactly. And this sense. is, but for week one of college, I'll tell you this, all right? Every wise guy in Las Vegas spends all summer thinking about, oh, I love this dog. Oh, I love that dog. Oh, <laughs> and it's dog, 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 Me. dog, dog. I love playing favorites week one. And I like some particular type of favorite I'm looking for. I'm going to favorite that plays fast, that has explosive plays. We got Syracuse laying 17 and a half to Liberty. Okay, Syracuse is going to play fast. They're going to wear Liberty down, and they're going to have the opportunity to have quick strike touchdowns. That's what I'm looking for. I'll lay it. Here's my question: Have they named a starting quarterback yet? I could care less. Oh, okay. Irrelevant. All right. The the issue is team speed and pace of play. Yeah. Syracuse is going to run 100 plays in that game if they can. Uh, They worked for me week one under Dino. Each of the last two seasons, I'm going to back on week one again. Hey, okay. I can't disagree. I know about as much about Liberty as Liberty knows about me. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't disagree. Oh, my God. All right, who are we going with week For my college, again, uh, you know, Teddy's a, a handicapper that rips apart matchup stats, data, and all that. I can't do it like that. Um, for me, it, it's about trying to get 
a number, um, racing to a number. That's what I'm good at. So really I stick, good at I stick to my lane. Yeah, yeah, but, but that's, I just stay to my lane. Sure, but I, that, that, I don't, that, that, I don't try to make sense. it harder than it needs you know, to be because I'm if, not that smart. Well, you know, if, if everyone just, handicapped just the same way, I know my would, limitations. You know, what I mean. But this is key. I don't mean to cut you off at all. But if everyone handicapped the same way, there'd be no value anywhere. We don't make the same bets on every game. It'd be enlightenment. So the fact that you and I have different styles. It's just different style. You're right. And today, though, we, we came to the same conclusion with the game. Your big game that you bet baseball, I sure. have the same side. So sure, sure. You're right. It works out sometimes. <laughs> I'm going to go to uh, you know marquee matchup, Oregon-Auburn um, in Texas. Auburn's a two-and-a-half-point favorite. You notice it's not by coincidence. I'm hovering around those key numbers, three and seven, trying to get the good side of those. I think this line goes in only one direction, and that's forward. Um, SEC team, first week. Oregon traveling, I think you're not going to get two and a half or too much longer. I don't think you're going to get three when that game day rolls around. I think you'll see three and a half or higher. So if I could get two and a half in my pocket, I'll do that right now. All right, and just for fun, I'm going to throw out my favorite underdog because Teddy talked about the favorites for week one. <laughs> this is the underdog that I made a ton of money on last year, so I'm going to go back to the well. But not Western. Yes. Oh, but bam. I'm not making a play on Northwestern. It's actually a play against Stanford. And I think this one will hit a touchdown. We'll see. Right now, six and a half. I'm going to take the six and a half and think Northwestern is going to keep it pretty close. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in and make sure you check out all of our other videos at the Money Line with Wager Talk.